aimed at the influence of Greek philosopher on the origin of medicine. The ancient Chinese philosophy had a deep impact on the formation of TCM theory. So, in the following three units, we are going to learn the philosophical foundations of TCM. Mainly focuses on theory of qi, yin yang theory, and five elements theory. They are the worldview and methodology that Chinese Asians used to understand and explain the nature. Okay, we will start with the theory of the qi, which also known as qi monism, qi yi yuan lun. In today's class, we will explain the concept of the qi in philosophy, make contents in theory of qi, and the impacts of theory of qi in TCM, which also can be understood as the application of theory of qi in TCM. Dao De Jing said, Dao begets one. One begets two, two begets three, and three begets all things. Dao sheng yi, yi sheng er, er sheng san, san sheng wan wu. Here, the term one refers to the very original condition of the universe, chaos, huan tun, named by the ancient philosopher. And then, in this chaos, two opposite properties were produced named as yin and yang by Asian philosopher, or we can just understand them as the earth and the heaven. After that, between the earth and heaven, the third substance was formed, which in turn gave birth to numerous things in the universe. Okay, now let's explain what is the original meaning of qi. Let's look at this picture on the left side. Can anyone tell me what is a character? It looks very much like three in Chinese character. San, isn't it? But it is not three. The top line in this character represents the heaven. The line on the bottom represents the earth. Well, the a little bit smaller line in the middle indicates those things between the heaven and the earth. What are those things between the heaven and earth? All things, right? All things come from qi. So it is the original character of qi. Then the Asian people felt that it was very easy to be confused with the character of three. After taking the feature of qi into consideration, which is moving, floating, and tends to dispersing, they changed it into this one which can resemble the nature of the tea in a better way. The original meaning of the character of tea refers to the third material, which is floating and moving, diffusing between the heaven and earth. The extended meaning of the tea refers to the substance that constitutes all things in the world. After being clear about the meaning of the character, I think right now we have already known that concept of the qi in philosophy. Qi is a kind of ceaseless moving but invisible microsubstance that exists in the universe. And it is a principle and a nominal that constitutes everything in the universe. Here we need to emphasize the most important two properties of qi. Ceaseless moving which indicates its functional property, invisible microsubstance, which indicates its material nature. So these two properties of T should guide us to learn and to understand OT related knowledge. There are many contents in the theory of the T. Firstly, T is a principle that constitutes the universe. Secondly, qi is a material with unceasing movement, which produces all kinds of changes in the universe. In another word, everything in the universe is the result of movement and the change of the qi. See, human beings are produced by condensation of qi. Those stuff come from qi. Animals, plants, everything in the universe is produced by qi. Thirdly, qi is a medium of interaction of all things in the universe. How to understand qi's function as a medium? 
let's make a review on what we have learned in the unit of holistic concept. Can you briefly list out what are the main ideas of holistic concept? The integrity of the human body and the unit between the body and its external environments. So why the body is united with its external environments? How does this kind of connection work? This is due to qi, which works as a medium of the interaction of all things. Theory of qi has many impacts on TCM. That's why we say theory of qi is one of the philosophical foundations of TCM. Qi is the origin of all things in the universe. Human beings are produced by condensation of qi as well. Qi maintains the whole presence of life activities. And through movement of the qi, the body grows and develops with the vitality, also known as healthy qi, zhen qi in Chinese. Therefore, when the movement of qi stops, or qi disperses or decreases to ex extremity, life becomes to an end. Meanwhile, the idea of qi has been applied in TCN to explain and demonstrate physiological condition and pathological changes. For example, the movement of qi in the human body usually be demonstrated as ascending, descending, exiting, and entering. By these four main movements of T, human body maintains its life activities. Furthermore, there are different classification of T. For example, we can divide T into healthy T and evil T, where we try to explain the struggle or the battle between the body and the disease. Here, the healthy T is just like the vitality or immune system as you name it, while the evil T also known as pathogenic T. We also can divide T into primordial T, pectoral T, defensive T, and nutritive T according to its source, formation, and function. Moreover, it also can be used to name T of zhangfu organs or T of channels and collaterals due to its distribution. Anyway, there are multiple classification of T in TCM. Let's make a very, very simple example on how is T used in TCM. Let's look at this cartoon. What is your feeling when you see these two pictures? This guy, a lot of energy. This guy, without energy or lack of energy. Well, in TCM, we use the term of T to demonstrate them. This one has abundance of T, while this one is lack of T, which should be treated by supplementing T. When a TCM doctor is taking the pulse, he tries to detect the condition of the T. When someone gets angry, his T upraises. You know that in Chinese we say shen qi to describe anger. All right, that is all for today. Let's make a conclusion. So qi is a kind of ceaseless moving but invisible microsubstance that exists in the universe. It is a principle that constitutes everything in the universe. Human beings are produced by qi as well which maintains the whole presence of life activities. And there are multiple applications of the T in TCM. For detailed information, will be explained in our later classes. Thank you for your attention.